Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Kerr, and I'm the manager of the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada on the North Las Vegas campus. Welcome to the October 27th edition of the Las Vegas Weekly Night Sky. In these videos, we want to let you know a little bit more about what you can go outside and look for in the nighttime sky. I want to talk a little bit about three objects in the sky right now that might not be that easy to see without the aid of binoculars, or in the case of one, can't be seen at all right now. Two of the objects are out in the early evening right now. Let's talk about C2025A6 first, also known as Comet Lemon 2025. Peak brightness is projected for Monday evening, October 27th, so this is the perfect night to look for it in the sky. Lemon will set tonight around 9 p.m., so you need to look for it shortly after the sun sets. It's going to be especially hard to see it from the west side of Las Vegas as the mountains will interfere, and seeing it from the east side of Las Vegas will be difficult to do, having to look across the valley for it somewhat low in the west. The second comet in the night sky right now is comet C2025R2, also known as SWAN. SWAN might be a little bit easier to see, as it is in the south-southeast right now, not too far from Saturn out there. You'll definitely need binoculars for SWAN, as it did not get quite as bright as Lemon. Both will be fading now this week, so it's probably your best chance to see both. The third object in our comet's object this week is Comet 3i Atlas. This is the one that is garnering the most attention from the media, as it is not a comet from within our own solar system, but rather an extrasolar visitor. Long ago, Atlas was ejected from its own solar system and has been wandering space ever since. Our own solar system has sent comets off into space as well, possibly to be seen near other stars in the far-off future. But Atlas is passing through our solar system right now. Atlas is the third confirmed extrasolar object passing by us in the last eight years, and this could mean that objects like this are not terribly rare. A certain segment of the population is thoroughly convinced this is not a comet, but rather an alien space probe. Please do not click on the clickbait articles about Atlas, as we do not need to legitimize such foolishness. Atlas shows all the classic signs of being a comet, and as a confirmed extrasolar visitor, its scientific value is enormous. Apparently, the Europa Clipper spacecraft might fly directly through Atlas's tail, and so the instrument could be awakened to see if we can capture some of its particles. Atlas is not visible for us right now, as it is in the daytime sky, but coming up in December, we should be able to get a glimpse of it at night in the very early morning. For easier to see objects, Saturn is still out in the early evening in the southeast and maybe it can help you find Comet Swan. Jupiter is almost directly overhead in the early morning before dawn and Venus will be getting too low to see in the east very soon. Join us again next Monday for some new weekly sky highlights. I look forward to seeing you at the planetarium.